Hello guys, so for this video, we are going to talk about TCS ITP off-campus syllabus and pattern for the year 2022. Now, I hope all of you know that TCS has recently launched the ITP pattern that is integrated test pattern. Alright, so we are going to talk about the off-campus syllabus for it. Alright, so let's begin with the highlights as to what we are going to discuss in the upcoming video. So we start off with the recruitment process. Then we have the test pattern section wise topic division and then the important details. So these important details enlist all the details that is necessary for you to know before you sit for the exam. All right. So let's go quickly to the next slide. Let's start off with the recruitment process. So what is it? For round one, we have the TCS ITP foundation section and that is a written test that is round one. And for the next round, we also have a round two, which is TCS ITP advanced section and this is mainly for the digital um, aspirants all right so anyone who wants to go for the digital job role we have to uh, like apply for or we have to go through the advanced section that is round two of exam as well all right so please keep that in mind round one is obviously mandatory but round two is mandatory for those who are digital aspirants all right and then we have the interview now here we don't know whether it's going to be a purely technical or purely hr interview but definitely those of you who pass the test are going to go for the interviews where they are going to decide if you are up uh, for the ninja profile or for the digital profile all right so it depends completely on your interview your interview performance and on your test scores as well so you are going to have an interview post second round that is post the advanced section round all right okay let's move forward so let's talk about the recruitment process in details so we have round one all right the foundation section and it may have 40 to 50 questions now the number of questions is not exact you may have 40 you may have 50 or you may have a number of questions which is in between 40 and 50 all right and the time limit is 76 minutes for the second round, you have round two, that is the advanced section and you are going to have 20 to 25 questions for this particular round and you will have a total of 90 minutes to answer those. All right. So foundation section and advanced section, obviously through the description itself, you can understand that foundation section is going to be easy, whereas or easy to medium, whereas advanced section is going to be high in difficulty. All right, so foundation and advanced, that is the recruitment process for TCS ITP. Let's move forward. Let's move forward to the foundation round details. How many sections it will have, how many questions and vice versa. Okay, so traits. The first section is traits. You have a variable number of questions. We don't know how many questions you might be getting for the variable, uh, sorry, for the traits section. And you have only one minute for it. Now, let me quickly explain you what traits is. Traits over here is personality test or psychometric test as you may call it. All right. Now, we don't know exactly what type of questions you might get, but definitely these are trait based or personality based questions. And it's going to be only for one minute. The next section is numerical ability or quants as we call it. And it's going to have 16 questions, which is again variable. We don't know the exact number, but definitely you may have at or around 16 questions and you are going to have 25 minutes to attempt the quant section. 
Moving forward, we have the reasoning ability section. And again, for that, you are going to have 15 questions, which is again, variable. You might or might not have 15 questions, more or less. And it is again for 25 minutes. Moving towards the verbal ability section, you have 20 questions, which is again, might be variable, might be fixed. We are not very sure of it yet. And you are going to have 25 minutes for the same. So total, we come up to 76 minutes for the time limit. And then we have 40 to 50 questions to give you a range of number of questions. We have kept it 40 to 50. All right. Now, this is the round one part. Please don't confuse it with the second round. It's only round one. That is the foundation round. All right. Now, the difficulty level of this entire round is going to be easy to medium. It's not going to be very hard. Now, one thing to notice that is very important is this entire foundation round does not have coding. All right. You are going to have coding for the advanced round and not for the foundation round. All right. Let's move forward towards the section wise division. So section wise topic divisions for numerical ability. What do you have? Number system, averages, ratio and proportion, equations, divisibility, profit and loss, SICI, probability, simplification, work and time. And all of the remaining topics that are on the screen right now, if you want, you can take a screenshot. If not, you can go on to prepminster.com, go to the TCS ITP dashboard and you can have all the entire details written over there for you. All right. So these are the topics that you will get the questions from. You might definitely add or subtract a few topics from here, but these topics might be there. Moving forward to the verbal ability section. Again, you might have word completion, arrangement, formal or informal sentences, meaning, sentence completion, error identification, reading comprehension, sentence joining. All right. Now, again, you may or may not have uh, extra topics, added topics over here, but definitely you are going to get questions from these topics itself. Again, the difficulty level of these topics is going to be from easy to medium. Please remember, it's not going to be very difficult, but definitely easy to medium. Moving forward, we have the section wise topics for reasoning ability, blood relations, decision making, syllogism, data sufficiency, word pattern, letter and number series, and all of the other topics right here on the screen. If you want to get an insight into more topics, please go on to our Prepinsta dashboard. You are going to get a list of topics over there along with quizzes as well. All right. So you can practice and prepare from there. So again, remember, this is only the reasoning ability for the foundation round. All right. It's round one and not round two. It's round one. And again, the difficulty is going to be from easy to medium. All right. Moving forward, now we come towards the advanced round. All right, so we are done with the foundation round. It's going to have four sections, traits, which is based on personal uh, personality test. I'm sorry. Then we have the quants, logical and verbal. We don't have coding for the first round. For the second round, the section division is such advanced quantitative ability with 12 questions to be exact. And again, you also have a variable range of questions here. And you are going to get 20 minutes for the quant section. Now, remember, this is going to be advanced quantitative ability. That means the difficulty is going to be high or very high. All right, because this is for the digital aspirants and it's an advanced round. Next, we have the advanced reasoning ability, which again has a variable of eight questions. More or less, you will get eight questions according to us. And you have 15 minutes to solve the entire eight questions. Then you have the advanced coding ability here over here. All right. So one to three questions you might get. You might get one, you might get three, or you might even get two questions for 55 minutes. All right. You are going to get 55 minutes over here for the coding sections. So total number of minutes, uh, sorry, total minutes is 90 minutes and total number of questions is 20 to 25 variable. Why variable? Because we don't know the exact number of questions for each of the sections. Now, again, I'm stating to you, coding is going to be difficult. The advanced round is going to be difficult and it is mandatory. Please understand it is mandatory for anyone who wants to appear for the digital round or right, for the digital role. If you want a digital role in TCS, you will have to sit for the advanced round. If not, we think you can shift on to the interview round. So let's quickly get a topic wise division for the advanced section as well. So advanced numerical ability, again, you might say that the topics are quite the same, but the difficulty level of these topics is going to be high. 
while you might get easy to moderate questions in the first round that is the foundation round you are going to get similar topic questions but in a higher difficulty level all right please get that through if you want you can definitely prepare for the advanced round thoroughly okay moving forward then we have the advanced reasoning uh, reasoning ability again you might see that the uh, topics are quite the same but difficulty is going to vary and you will have to prepare well for this section all right so we have that relations decision making statement based data arrangement di as well so please prepare for the advanced round if you want the digital role moving forward we have the advanced coding over here all right now advanced coding has this section has a problem for which you have to provide a solution in any of the coding languages of your choice now what are the coding languages that you may get you can have c c++ java python or perl right out of these five languages you can choose whichever language you are comfortable with and code in that particular language or else you are going to get one problem or two or three problems and you will have to code in your preferred language all right so that is it for the advanced coding section so let's get into a brief all right for the first round we have four sections for the second round we have three sections the difficulty level for the first section is easy to medium while for the second is going to be high all right so this is the entire sum up of the tcs itp uh, written exams okay let's move to the important details of the test that is very very important to know first of all it has no negative marking so even if you go wrong with your answers you are blessed that you will have no negative marking for any of the questions or sections or rounds non adaptive test again it's a luck for you because even if you go right or wrong you, your difficulty level will not change of the questions they are preset by the authorities then for the year of passing now which batches can apply 2020 2021 and 22 so if you are from 20 21 22 batches you can definitely apply for tcs itp if you want more details about the eligibility please go on to a prepinsa dashboard and you will have all the required details about recruitment about syllabus and about eligibility as well okay level of difficulty ranges from easy to difficult as the rounds progress i've been uh, telling this repeatedly that the difficulty level is going to increase as the rounds and the sections progress all right moving forward the advanced round is mandatory for digital profile again please make sure that if you want a digital profile you sit for the advanced round it is mandatory for you get selected for ninja or digital job profile based on your interview so whatever or however you perform in the interviews that is going to decide your fate if you get ninja or digital profile all right so interview performance is going to decide if you go for ninja or digital so these are the very important details that you need to know if you need any more extra details please go on to prepinsta and visit all of the pages that we have over there for tcs itp all right so uh, we have come to the end of the syllabus video if you have any other query please visit us please get in contact with us and how you can do that you can follow us on instagram discord facebook whatsapp telegram or youtube as well and you can connect with us if you have any query whatsoever on discord we can interact personally with each other mentors and students interact there together so if you want you can join us on discord as well for instagram we keep regular updates for the drives that are being posted by the company so if you don't want to miss any of the opportunities make sure you follow us on instagram and facebook whatsapp and telegram we keep Uh, updating our students regularly on these platform uh, platforms as well so make sure to connect with us on all of our platforms all right so uh, next i'm going to quickly give you a preview of prepinsta and prepinsta prime and how you can prepare if you want to go for tcs itp digital and ninja role so let's quickly take a look at it all right so this is our prepinsta.com website where if you come you can see that we have an entire dashboard ready for you but before this let's quickly go on to prepinsta prime over here now this is prepinsta prime if you come down you can see that you have a complete course list over here and you have a cool trailer going on if you go down you have the certifications that you can avail from prepinsta prime now the first is prepinsta nano degree certification for completing any of the courses on our prepinsta prime website and there is tcs ion remote internship certification now let me give you a tip if you want to go for tcs 
ITP for Ninja or Digital Profile, it would be a benefit for you if you have the TCS Ion Rio internship certification with you. All right. So it's mandatory if you get it, it's going to add a positive point for you. Let's go down. You have popular skills if you want to prepare for If you want to upgrade your resume, you can definitely learn um, AI, ML, cyber security, ethical hacking and all of the other skills from this website. Going down, if you want to learn more about coding or enhance your knowledge about languages, you can go for C, C++, Java, Python and learn coding from here. If you're interested into coding or if you want to begin your coding journey, you can definitely do it from basic to advanced and competitive coding. And then we also have DSA in all of the languages that is possible. Going down, we have the entire aptitude section for which you can prepare for the foundation and the advanced course. And that is quantitative ability, logical reasoning, verbal, DI, visual reasoning, psychometric test as well. Now for the first round that where you have the traits section, you can prepare for the psychometric test as well. All right, going down, you have the platform preparation. If you want to go for your uh, platform based tests, then you have company based um, preparation as well. If you want to prepare only for TCS, you can subscribe for TCS over here, but you get 150 plus courses on this website. All right. And these companies are again bifurcated into service and product base to make your search easier. Going down, we have the interview preparation because obviously selection process does not end at exams. You have to clear the interview in order to get selected. So you have the interview preparation section as well. Then you have the CS subjects, coding brush ups and interview experiences from those students who have already cleared that interviews. All right. So you can learn from them and get selected as well. And then again, you have guest estimates, resume, group discussion, HR, GitHub puzzles, etc for you to get on a better and a more comfortable selection journey. All right, so this is what Preppinsta Prime is for you. And if you have any other query, you can come on to preppinsta.com, come on to the TCS ITP platform or dashboard. And from here, you can go down, you can see all the topics that are important for TCS ITP foundation and advanced course. You can go prepare for the quizzes from here and you can get all of the added details if you want for TCS ITP. All right, so that's it. All the best for your TCS ITP journey and uh, thank you so much.